All right, everybody. This is the next edition or, or, or video. And on the podcast platforms, it's just another clip. Uh, the Knights won tonight. Yeah, It's a come from behind win. It's awesome. Awesome how they were able to pull it off. But it was a mess of a game. I'm gonna, it was awesome, but it was a mess of a game. I'm going to tell you why. But, okay, let's start. Nick Haig replaced Cody Glass tonight. Uh, Robin Leonard replaced uh, Marc-Andre Fleury for tonight. Was playing in, in his place. He is now 2-0. and He is unbeaten. The Knights are now 3-0 and in the post or in the regular season. Now, stars of the game. We got Riley Smith, who plays right wing. Two goals, uh, had two assists. Max Pacioretty, uh, left. He's a he. He plays left wing. One goal, uh, had two assists. Next up, we got William Carlson, plays center. No goals, but was an assist. We had Chandler Stevenson, one goal, and I don't remember which position he plays. So go to nice players, please correct me. <laughs> had uh, had one goal. Uh, and uh, had two assists. Zach Whitecloud, no goals. I don't remember his position. Please correct me. Uh, <laughs> one and uh, was an assist once. Now, let's go ahead and go to the first. So l- let me just go over a couple thoughts. Number one, the first and second periods for the Knights were just a hot, complete mess. A hot mess, completely just bizarre, a disaster. I don't know how it could have been so disastrous for them other than they missed a bunch of shots they had icings called on them all the time they had a power play here um and i and it just in the first and second periods and they they got scored on once the night the uh coyotes uh, arizona coyotes also had a power play on them and yet the knights could not score no matter what and they failed to defend the net. No, it was not a great game, but it was now it was not a great game, but it was a good game from the Arizona Coyotes. They came to play. They were great at defending the net until the second and third periods. They had the Knights hung up, strung up, just like the Ducks did on Saturday. Absolutely, they did. Now, uh. Of course, the Knights had too many giveaways. They didn't have too, too many takeaways from from the other team. And it, it really showed. Now, let's get into it. So, the first period, 8 minutes and 24 seconds. Tyler Pitnick. Uh, let's see. Tyler Pitlick. Very weird names here. Uh, Tyler Pitlick, Pitlick scores a shorthanded goal. Had no assist on that. It made it 1-0 to zero Arizona. Now, let's get to the second period. Night again. Terrible, terrible time. They did. They really didn't score until eight minutes and something. Eight minutes and forty-five seconds after the second goal of the night after of the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, too many turnovers of the puck. Too many. Uh, too too little uh, takeaways. Very many get giveaways to the other team. Now, nine minutes and 35 seconds, Nick Schmaltz scores a power, uh, power play goal. So on the power play that they had on the Knights, uh, the Knights failed to defend the net yet again. He was assisted by Jakob Chekrin, uh, Jakob Chekrin, uh, and, uh, Derek Brazard. Now that made it two to zero, um, uh, Arizona. Now, 8 minutes and 45 seconds later, at 17 minutes and 2 seconds, Max Pacioretty, not wearing his shirt. This is Marc-Andre Fleury shirt. I love it. Woo! Uh, Max Pacioretty, he has three goals this season, scored a goal off the rebound. He, it, he hit it. It was blocked, went back to him, and he just threw it into the net. Just, just like that. He was assisted by Shea Theodore and Chandler Stevenson, who also scored. It made it 2-1 to one, uh, Arizona. Now, we get to the third period. This is a pattern I'm noticing. The Knights are sucking in the first and second period. Although, game one of the uh, with the Ducks, they did a great first period, scored a goal right away. Uh, they had some really great hockey. And it, then it got kind of sloppy in the second period, in my opinion. And then third period, it was great. Then they had the second game against the Ducks. The Ducks also had them kind of strung up. They messed up their lineup. And uh, guess what? 
uh, they had to come from behind in the third period. So uh, they had to send it to overtime. But we get to this third period, four minutes and 11 seconds. Riley Smith scores a goal, assisted uh, by uh, Jonathan Marshall and William Carlson. And that ties the game, makes it 2-2. Two two. Four minutes later, about four minutes later, eight minutes and 12 seconds, Chandler Stevenson scores his first goal of the season, assisted by Zach Whitecloud and um, Mark Stone, the captain of the Knights, who's doing really well as a captain. I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm proud of him. Lacks in personality, especially with, with in interviews, but that's neither here nor there. He, uh, he did really well. Now, uh, 11, uh, 19 minutes, I'm sorry, and 48 seconds. Riley Smith comes back into the game, scores a shorthanded goal a hundred at, at 180 feet from the net. It was an empty net, just boom, woo, scores it in there. And that may, and he had no assists, made it 4-2 nights, and the game ended there, no sense in going on. Now, Here's my problem. I don't think the line that the line that was playing in the first and second period was doing well at all. They let two goals through. They didn't defend the net. I it was the second goal of the it was the second goal of the from the Arizona Coyotes that went through the pads of Robin Leonard, and that was completely unacceptable. I think Marc Andre Fleury would have done a lot better. He would have had a better chance. He's a better, even more skilled player than Robin Leonard, and I believe that a hundred percent. I'm not gonna back down on that. Period. It's it you you can't you can't. It's impossible. Um the line was a disaster today or last night on 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 Monday, uh, and I don't know what was said between the second and third period, but it just popped. It clicked. It came back together. Now uh, let's go ahead and look at penalties. So power plays. Uh, the Knights and the Coyotes both had five power plays. There you go. So uh, in one out of five, the Arizona Coyotes scored on one uh, scored one goal on the Knights, and on zero of five power plays that they had on the Coyotes, the Knights scored absolutely zero. They did absolutely squat, but squandered it. Now, how many shorthanded goals did they have? Uh, Arizona had one shorthanded goal, and Knights uh, you know, also had one, but you know, ESPN said zero. They're very weird. Now, um, so uh, let's go ahead and go into uh, the total of... Uh, Penalties. Knights and Arizona both had five penalties, except Arizona came to play. They knew what they had to do. The Knights didn't. Again, the line was an absolute disaster. Now, penalty minutes. Uh, the Knights and the Coyotes both had 10. The blocked shots, uh, Arizona had 13. Knights had 20. Again, a lot of those giveaways are 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 uh, coming out. They're coming back to bite them. Uh, the, um, the takeaways, Arizona had seven, Knights had five. What does that tell you? It tells you that in those seven that Arizona had, two of them went into goals. The Knights couldn't do anything about that. Now, look, um, the, the Coyotes are probably saying the same thing, those who are creating content about them. Now, the giveaways, this is interesting. Arizona had four. Knights had five. Just one more. Again, too many puck turnovers. So my final thoughts here. Again, uh, Riley Smith, William Carlson, all of them all said it. Uh, Knights need to do better. They need to start ahead. This come from behind is getting really effing annoying. When would that be a good scenario? Knights are down in the playoffs. It, it's the playoffs. The Knights are down in the playoffs. Hopefully not. They're up. But uh, Knights are down in the playoffs. They need to come from behind. This coming from behind crap, it, it, although it's annoying, it's going to give them enough practice to where they're going to come together in the second and third periods of the postseason games. And they're going to say, guys, remember all those third period hot takes that we had, hot moments in the regular season. We need to do that magic pretty much right here, right now. And that's going to help them. How is it going to hurt them? It's gonna, they're going to try and come from behind. It's going to be too late in some games. And they're not going to score as well. So, 
I think they need to work on getting more takeaways. Uh, not ha- and and I can't believe I have to say this again. Stop giving away the freaking puck and the puck turnover. Stop it. And they need to be on the puck right then, right there. Grab it. Let's go. If they're not, it's gonna hurt them. It's really gonna hurt them. Uh, it's really gonna hurt them if they're not ahead of the game, ahead of the puck, and able to like. Here's the thing. They're playing this team three more times, four times in total. They cannot use a lot of the same strategies. The Coyotes are going to know those strategies. They're going to take advantage of it. And the Knights need to find more strategies to use and get a better line to play. Another thing, one of my other thoughts, probably one of my last ones. Um, Carlson and, 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 and Pacioretty are great together. They have great chemistry. Uh, William Carlson and, and, um, and Jonathan Marcheseau also very clever with each other. Uh, they're, they're very in tune uh, on key and that's what you need. Um, you need people that have great chemistry. And I think with this, uh, final line that they had on, on the rink for the Knights, it's a smart play to put players together who have great chemistry. They know where on the ice they stand. They know how they skate. They know how to pivot. They know their pivots. They know their their stick plays. They know how they play the puck. They know exactly what each other does. They they click together. They have a lot of time together on the ice and off the ice, hopefully, although not probably not as much during the pandemic. But using that chemistry is incredible, and a lot of the nice players have that. So... Although it was great that they won, they need to do much better in the future. They cannot let the Coyotes do damage to them because the, the damage control is not going to be good. They have to get ahead. And when they get ahead, they have to stay ahead. Arizona messed up tonight uh, or last night. They're, they know that and they're going to keep an eye on that. So once again, they won 4-2. to two. I'm excited. Good job, Knights. Let's do better next time.